Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, I have a forwarder box, a big box of wax shipped over from the US to me. Um, if you haven't watched one of these videos before, uh, because I live in Australia, when I buy wax from American vendors, I have to send them to a forwarder and send them over here, which means every so often I get a box this year. A big combined box of wax. Uh, this year I have not had many big ones because I have been cutting back but the last two have been a little bit you know on the bigger side so I definitely need to um, reset for next year in terms of how much I'm buying. This box has uh, a Rose Girls order. I can't remember if it was a pre-order or if it was a ready to ship. It has a Teddy Bees pre-order. It has a Super Tarts pre-order. It has an L3 Waxy Wonders order and it has Desses. I think that's everything that's in it. Um, so what I'll do, I will just go through and show everything that I have in this video. And then over the coming days, I will go through and I will film haul videos for each haul and just give, that's when I'll sort of smell everything and give first impressions. So think of this as like the preview for what I will film next. Um, it is, it's quite a big long box, so I'm probably going to be reaching all over and stuff. So, um, I have gone through and smelled a few things already, um, some really good stuff. So I've got here Teddy Bee Spooky Encounters, Sandalwood Smoked Oud, Spiced Cherry Black Raspberries, The Hint of Patchouli of Blackberry Cotton Candy. I did get quite a few tubs from Teddy Bees this time around. Basic Witch, uh, Vanilla Latte Whipped Coffee. Pardon me. Uh, roasted marshmallows, pecan, waffles, and beach treats. Um, it's like my Teddy Bees pre-orders, they are always big. I will say that this one wasn't quite as big as some of the ones I have done this year and in the last little while. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so this is like a Dessa's Homespun Sense little pack. I'll go through it properly in the video. Um, but I'll at least check what samples I got. So, um... Nana's Apple Butter Caramel Pie. Never tried that before. God, I can smell it already. Her wax is so strong. Santa's North Pole Village. And Gingerbread House. Something ginger Yeah, Gingerbread House. Um, I think those all kind of sound like very wintry, but not very me sense, but we'll see. Um, yeah, anyway. I've got Nutcracker Sweet from Teddy Bees. That's uh, sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, brown sugar, and cinnamon butter. Got a lot of Rose Girls sitting just here as well. So there's big Nick energy. I think this was a ready to ship. Oh, Christmas tree, marshmallow, fireside, and back roads. I really do like back roads. It's bergamot, ginger, vetiver, and pine. So that sounded like a really awesome blend. Uh, Blackberry baked black blueberry bramble, sorry. So warm and rich blueberry bakery. Bend over and I'll show you. Um, Christmas wish, which is soft pine and sugar cookies, vanilla balsam and Twinkies. I've got a loaf. I don't get L3 loaves or any loaves in, um, very often anymore, but this is Egyptian cotton, sea, uh, cactus and sea salt, green clover and aloe. I love Egyptian cotton and I love cactus and sea salt. So I just went, I need that. Uh, Maraxis from Teddy Bees. So that's sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. Tea for two from Super Tarts. So that's lemon iced tea, tea and cakes, and funnel cake. Love that. One of my favorite, um, favorite tea and cakes blends at the moment. Uh, where the treetops glisten from Rose Girls. So that's Fraser Fir, Balsam, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Royal Sugar Cookies. My voice is a bit husky because I had my work Christmas party last night. And like I don't drink anymore, so I didn't do anything particularly wild. But it was just loud. And I think you know you talk loudly to be heard. And yeah, it just does the thing. Wish a Witch Woods. So this one is Fireside Marshmallows, Buttery Sugar Cookies, Bonfire Embers, and Palo Santo. God, I really want to start sniffing some of these. They've got, I'll show you the glitter and stuff more pro like properly, not more properly, properly in the video that I do for Teddy Bees. But I can tell like these tubs are just, with the glitter and the colours, they're just gorgeous. Uh, Catacomb of the Witch. Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss and Vanilla Woods. 
this Teddy B's order, it took so long to get to my forwarder. Um, it went by UPS. I Normally when I get orders from Teddy B's, they go USPS. Um, and I don't personally have any problems with UPS when I ship it to Australia. But this one sat somewhere in, like, I don't know. It, it took forever. It took a really long time. I, should, I would have had this box forwarded out sooner, but I was waiting for the teddy bees to arrive. Uh, cute little mummy face in Wood Smoke Palo Santo Sugar Hoodie for I love Wood Smoke blends, so that one will be good. Light side of the Force Sensi type from L3, so it's here, there, in the ocean grows morning mist and even the driftwood at the ocean's edge. I'm guessing that means something to someone. Um, Hell House, which is chestnuts, brown sugar, fig, vanilla butter cream. Interesting, you know sometimes you buy something and then you get it later and you're like, what was I thinking when I bought that? So, I don't know. I don't know with that one. Uh, warm vanilla sugar, wood smoke and palo santo. I just, that I don't need to question myself on. I just love wood smoke. Uh, Rose Girls Raspberry Waffle Cone Baked Zucchini Bread. Odessa's Mixed Loaf. It's a shame the colours. I love when I get these loaves and the two different scents are very different coloured, but these ones are very close. So this is Beach Nights and Coastal Forest Pacific Northwest. So I've actually got Coastal Forest Pacific Northwest somewhere in here as well. Yeah, it's right here. Um, so this one is... Where the ocean meets the forest in the Pacific Northwest, ocean mist, sea salt, Douglas fir, ponderosa pines, and warm driftwood. Just absolutely 100% a scent that is like right up my alley, that one. Uh, Mojo Dojo Casa House from Rose Girls. So that's stainless steel, smoke, vanilla, tobacco, and oud. I feel like this year, particularly in the back half of this year, I've really reconnected with the blends that Rose Girls is doing. Like I I check every Rose Girls restock, but often I'll go for months and months and just I'll see them and I'm just like, yeah, there's not quite enough there. But lately just everything that's like so many things, every release that she's been pouring I've wanted. Kiss Me Goodnight from Teddy Bees. So cash cozy cashmere blankets, warm, slightly woody notes mixed with vanilla, hints of plum and hot tea and warm amber. Alright, so I have, I got a couple of samplers from L3. In fact, I think the L3 order I have in here, I only intended to buy the samplers. There was two samplers I really wanted, but I did throw a few more things in. So this one is a roasted pine cone sampler. And roasted pine cones is one of my all-time favourite oils, so I definitely had to get that. Um, it's just such a good scent. So, just opening it up. Um... So I've got Cinnamon Sticks Toasted Mallow Roasted Pine Cones. So I'm just trying to keep everything roughly sorted by vendor over here. White Woods Roasted Pine Cones Patchouli. Uh, pie Crust Vanilla Bean Roasted Pine Cones. Roasted Pine Cones Velvet Sugar Warm Vanilla Sugar. Bonfire Bliss Palo Santo Roasted Pine Cone. Uh, roasted Pine Cone Smoked Vanilla and Cashmere Cedar. Buttermilk, butter Mint Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Roasted Pine Cones. Probably not going to like that one, got to be honest. And Pumpkin Peanut Brittle and Roasted Pine Cones. So, very excited to get into those. The other sampler I got, and there might be some that have dropped down because this one was in like a bakery bag thing, but the panel's busted. This is a spiced honey tonka bean one. Now, I'm pretty sure I've smelled spiced honey tonka bean at, I don't know why I opened it up on the top, I can literally just reach in the front. Um, I'm pretty sure I've tried it from Hay and I loved it. So I'm going to have a quick smell and make sure it's the same thing. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Uh, smoked oud, smoked vanilla, spiced honey, tonka bean. I actually love that she's doing like shot cut samplers because they're cheaper and they're really good. And honestly, I don't know why, and I think it's just a mental barrier for me, but when I get one of these, 
I have to cut it into four pieces. I can't cut it smaller than that. Just my brain thinks that it won't throw. But when I get one of these, I also cut it into four pieces. <laughs> so anyway, I do find sometimes a fourth of a shot cup would not be enough. But generally speaking, for the sense I've had, it's been fine. Amber Oud Spiced Honey Tonka Bean and Cashmere with a K. Uh, pumpkin Carving Spiced Honey Tonka Bean Pumpkin, pumpkin Seeds and Oud. Honey Butter Rolls, Butter Spiced Honey, Tonka Bean. A bit confused by that one. Dark Chocolate Spiced Honey Tonka Bean Brownie Batter. That sounds really interesting. I don't think I've had wax with dark chocolate. I've had chocolate, but not dark chocolate. Vanilla Bean Butter Scotch Spiced Honey Tonka Bean. That one's cracked. That's all right. Uh, tonka bean noir, vanilla extract, honey spiced tonka bean. Honey spiced honey tonka. I don't know. The notes are getting all jumbled up. Uh, caramelized praline spiced honey tonka bean creme brulee. Generally not a fan of the um, caramelized pralines type scent, so I'm not thinking that that one will work, but we'll see. Bake and Bake a Mug Life from Super Tarts. So that's got uh, the Fake and Bake has zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet cream. Mug Life is Starbucks coffee, vanilla ice cream, and creamy pecan pie. I've had this combo before because I think it used to be Grey's Anatomy. It is an amazing bakery coffee combo. Just the star the Mug Life on its own, a little bit oversweet, but perfect with the extra bakery. Rose Girls, Johnny Appleseed, Oak Moss, Amber, Campfire, Marshmallows, and Apple Cider Donuts. Uh, sample bag from L3 has Christmas Town, Coffee House, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Zucchini Bread, Cinnamon, Sugar, Season of the Witch, Pumpkin Sugar Donuts. All very winter like. A lot of this stuff is going to have to go away into winter because it's definitely not that time of. Not that weather at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, caramel apple zucchini bread apple cider. Autumn equinox from Dessas. So beach nights, which is marshmallow, sea salt, small vanilla voodoo, and white birch. I quite. I'm. I have a really love hate relationships with beach nights, but I do seem to like Dessa's ones. So that's, I do tend to get blends from Dessa's with it. Uh, silver and gold from Teddy Bees. Sensual vanilla, sparkling amber, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallows, and pink lavender. Snow White's honey crisp apples on the line. So this is green apples, Macintosh, green apple, Macintosh apple, and cloves on the line. Uh, fall hike, cozy air and apple, fall foliage, tonka and warm woods. L3, pumpkin pecan waffles, mellow fireside zucchini bread. Oh, there was two L3 orders. I think one of them was literally just the two samples and then one of them might have been a sale or something. So I've got vampire's ball in the samples here. I've got... Rosemary, mint, zucchini, bread, warm, vanilla, sugar, and then Horror Alley. Uh, Jacks from Teddy Bees. So that's wet autumn leaves, moss covered, oak trees, cedar wood, hinoki, smoke lingering off in the distance. Shadowlands. Uh, earthy notes of dried pampas grass, powdery tonka bean, soft musk, and hints of white currant. Probably wouldn't have got that one because of the powdery mentions of powderiness, but I think I heard good things about it from the previous ready to ship. Carter, um, smoky woods, campfire marshmallows, white birch, palisanto, icy snow, vanilla. So it's like a smoky woods version of Winterfell. And apparently I got two of them. I ordered and then I went back in and I got more. Couldn't fully explain why, other than I just felt like it. 
I think I went back in for Dream State. And then Dream State ended up getting refunded on me anyway. So, happens. Catch. Uh, the Night Before Christmas. I love this one. Flannel sheets, warm cashmere, vanilla and vanilla blended with scented Christmas trees. Cozy cookie cake. I mostly have this to try and blend with balsam or tree scents to try to get to cozy cookie cake and balsam because I love that so much. White Warm ice white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside signature sugar cookies. I do like cozy cookie cake, but it is just so much better with the tree scents. So, uh, modern, modern farmhouse. Tonka and Oud, vanilla, birch and Egyptian amber. Love Tonka and Oud scents. Balsam and cashmere. So vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. Maybe I'll blend that one with um, cozy cookie cake and balsam. Who knows? Right, I've got a handful of little things. Got some lollies. Um, and some more lollies. Sherry Lassie Fluffy. Okay. And then strawberry pound cake pie crusts from Super Tarts. I remember, I actually probably should have bought that one. I actually did like it of from the Super Tart Sampler. Pie crust rarely smells like anything to me, but for some reason with strawberry pound cake, it works well. Uh, strawberry buttercream, buttercream funnel cake from Super Tart. It's a cute little acorn. Acorn. I've like emptied out one half of the box, but there's still like heaps up that end of the box. Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, great staple bakery scent. Uh, where the Blue Spruce Grows, uh, Rain Spruce, Bergamot, Cedarwood, and Florals. White Woods and Smoky Vetiver from Teddy Bees. So that's White Oak, Cashmere, Soft Woods, Vanilla, Palo Santo, Vetiver, and Sweet Smoke. There's a lot of candy in this box. Oak Christmas Tree. So that's... Balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. Strawberry trees and cream. Love this one. Uh, Christmas trees and cream and strawberry pound cake bath body works type. Um, yeah, I've got like... Um, sour punch. I don't know which vendor this stuff came from. Sour punch. Twizzlers. Like all of the candy. Not complaining. Um, alright. I might start putting the stuff back in the box because I'm just space wise running out. Winter Witch from Dessers. Uh, damp autumn leaves, crackling logs, gooey marshmallows, earthy cedarwood, and crispy crisp Macintosh apples. Winter cherries. Sparkling blend of sweet ripe cherries and a hint of essence, a dash of winter spices. Straight Up Pine from L3. Fireflies from Dessers. I love this one. Roasted Marshmallow. Cedar Wood. Damp Night Air and Campfire. Strawberry Zucchini Streusel from Dessa. So Strawberry Pound Cake, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie and Cinnamon Streusel Crumble. Uh, Pacific Northwest from Super Tarts, which is Raindrops, Sweater Weather, Birch, Beechwood and Washington Apples. It's interesting she's gone back to the old description because she used to break the sweater weather down by the notes. Her sweater weather is not the the sweater weather. It's a nice, really nice scent. I love it in this blend, but it's not sweater weather, you know. Amber Sunrise, which is Amber Satsuma and Sparkling Limoncello. It's a really nice one as well. I think the Super Tarts order that I placed was all stuff I've had. It was just a few favourites I wanted to stock up on. L3, apple, cinnamon, zucchini, bread, brown sugar, pound cake. Sleepy Hollow from Dessa's. Uh, Palo Santo, Christopher leaves, and smoked vanilla woods. I know how good Dessa's scents, her woody scents tend to be, so I have a feeling that one will be amazing. Let Me Play Guitar at You from Rose Girls. Marshmallow Fireside, Roasted Pine Cones. Roasted Pine Cones is having a moment, and I am not complaining. Pine and Salty Sea Air, Butter Bing, um, Cedar, Tobacco, Scotch, Dark Brown Woods, no, Dark Brown Sugar, Creamy Vanilla and Mulberry Woods. Get myself all confused here. 
on what I've already grabbed and what I haven't. Ground sugar, palo santo, apple cider. Fresh picked strawberries, lemonade, salty sea air. Love a salty sea air blend. Dark side of the force. Feel the power of this fully armed and operational fragrance churning with lavender, Madagascar, ginger, vetiver, and agarwood. Layers Donut Shop. Uh, cinnamon buns, of course. Cheesecake, caramel coffee. Vanilla hazelnut coffee with creamy buttery bakery. What was I thinking with that? I always feel like I need to check and see that I actually ordered that because that is just so incredibly not me that it's confusing. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, I am checking. Because I just like... I mean, maybe it might smell alright, but I'm just not... Nope, I ordered it. I reckon I did that by mistake. I mean, maybe it'll turn out good, but just that is not... That is not me. Harvest Cider and Birch. Uh, Teddy Bees, Plums, Dark Cherries, Vanilla, Birch, Peppered Woods and Warm Pomegranate Cider. It's so funny. I feel like every... Teddy Bee's pre-order. I don't realise when I'm doing it at the time, but there always ends up being like a really strong scent theme that I just go for all of the scents in that category. Like some months it's been Palo Santo. I mean, I always get Palo Santo scents, but like I've done a couple of pre-orders where it was really heavily Palo Santo. I did one where it was just all vanilla bolts. Not all, but lots of stuff I got had vanilla bolts. And another one I did was, I think the last one was really heavy on cashmere scents. This one, as I go through it, plum. There is so much plum through all of that. I think it's partly because, you know, she obviously does more of those blends, but somehow I just pick the scent and I gravitate to it. Blueberry dump cake. So fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. Uh, salty lavender. This one will be a gamble. Sweet lavender, salty sierra and toasted marshmallow. I just, I love Salty Sea Air, it's Salty Sea Air Scents, but Lavender, so anyway. Bakery and Lease, um, Brown Sugar Caramel Powdered Sugar, Bakery Dough Sugar Musk, Bottom Notes of Sweet Woods, sounded interesting. Move this down a bit more so I'm not like reaching right across. Alright. Baja Cactus Blossom Orchid Rain Palo Santo. Sounds very good. There's a few scoops in here. Right, let me do this arm. Egyptian cotton. So, like I said, really into Egyptian cotton scents. Lion dried sheets on a sunny, breezy day. Cotton blossom. A touch of ozone, lemon, woods, musk and jasmine. Earthy notes of leather, amber, patchouli and sandalwood. So, very much enjoying that one. Twisted pie, peppermint, roasted pine cone, smoked vanilla zucchini bread. I'm not always a peppermint fan, but everything else in that sounds amazing. And Twisted Peppermint I find easier to tolerate than others. Uh, pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla, Butter Fudge and Espresso. The Midnight Society. Palo Santo Sweet Lavender Vanilla Bean Noel. Look, I don't know why I've loosened up my policy on these... Um, these uh lavender scents i think i've just had i've had a few okay experiences but that doesn't mean that i'm like open for business on lavender lychee prosecco there is an order an l3 order in here that i swear i do not remember i remember ordering the the sampler with a few extra things, the samplers with a few extra things, but this other order with like trick tarts and stuff, I really have not got a good memory of this at all. Sunkissed ginger, like these trick tarts. Just give me, bear with me a sec. I genuinely just went and checked my invoice to make sure like that the, both of the L3 orders in here were genuinely like mine and not mistakenly shipped because... I just can't remember. It's very scary. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. 
uh, from Dessa. So warm balsam sandalwood, cedarwood, cranberry wood, seasonal spices. That would be good. Love those types of scents. Palo sugar streusel, uh, Palo Santo sweet cinnamon streusel, and powdered sugar donuts. Um, ye old witch house. A haunting blend of our vanilla voodoo, sweet cinnamon streusel, toasted marshmallows, and bonfire bliss. Uh, cranberry, oak, and pine cones. So tart cranberries, oak, wood, fresh pine cones, vanilla, cinnamon, hint of forest. Key lime pie, zucchini bread from L3. I am getting towards the end, but there's a bit more here. Blueberry cookie butter from Rose Girls. So blueberry cobbler and cookie butter. I got two shot cups of bamboo because I just love bamboo. One of my favourite fresh scents. Just dropped one. Oh my god. It's chaos in here, I tell ya. Honey Apple Champagne Bonfire Bliss Hay Palo Santo from L3. I haven't had a clam shop from L3 in years. Hearsay. Um, Palo Santo Blue Sugar Tonka Bean. Miracle on 34th Street. I have had this one before. It's very good. White Woods Vanilla Lace and Golden Amber. Another loaf. Blueberry muffin brown sugar tin cakes. Again, a little surprised by my choice. I'm thinking it must have been on sale. But I don't know. I'm bamboozled. I tell you. This is a colour of spoon I haven't had before. Purple? Maybe I have. I don't really... It's kind of like a ready purple. Um, it's actually very similar to the colour of my hair. Um, I don't use her spoons because I find they hurt my hands. So they're very pretty to look at though. Sorry, I'm just like trying to not have everything fall over everywhere. Roasted coffee ice cream. Love roasted coffee. So Mallow Fireside Sugar Cookie Royale Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I do, do find just some of those basic, really nice, yummy, slightly smoky bakeries. I like to top up on them. They're not like anything groundbreaking. I just enjoy them. Fall Vibes. So that's uh, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Shortbread, and Mac Apple. And then this is the last scent. Old St. Nick from Dessas. So this one is Christmas Trees, Sugar Cookies, and Palo Santo. So that's it. That is everything that I got in this forwarder box. So I will probably film one more video tonight before I go to bed. Haven't decided which one yet. The L3 in particular is just, and the Rose Girls is just piled up on my computer. So, um, but the Teddy Bees kind of looks nicely stacked and organized. So I might go with the Teddy Bees. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just film more over the weekend so that you'll see these videos sort of pop up over the coming week, I guess. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.